In this video, we'll learn one important concept in Salty when it's come to array. How you can shift an element from right to left and remove. And that's what we're going to focus in this video. So let's see how we can do that. So let me provide this Salty compiler. We have to provide the Salty version. Let's create a contract and I'm going to call it array removed by shifting. And that's what we're going to do in this. So here I'm going to define an array. So this is how it will work. So this is the income. This is the array we have one, two, three. And I want to remove the one, the one index array. So once I remove that, that's how we come. It will become one, three, three. And this is the final product would look like one, three, because I'm removing this. So what I'm going to do is let's come here. We're going to remove one and that's how you can do because one is going to be we have a, a array in that we have one element which is a one and that's what i want to remove so the index of that element is going to be zero once you remove that what you will get you will get nothing so that's pretty simple thing let's create a array and it's going to be a unt type and array so let's come here we'll create a function called remove and this function i'm going to call inside another function so in this function we're going to pass an index and index public so anybody can call it and that's we're going to write a check do a if statement because we want to remove the element on the base of the condition not just like this so here we'll say that if the index is less than array dot length the array we have if we have an array if we have any item into our array then only remove index out of bound because there is no array and the index we have provided there is no way to remove those index into our array so that's the first check and here we're going to run a for loop we'll say unt i is equal to i index index the index we are getting if i is less than the array length then we have to subtract because we want to start from the back hand side and then we have to increment that and here we're going to simply remove it the index i plus one so hope this makes sense it's a simple javascript we are running a for loop and trying to delete the index so just imagine that you have a 10 elements into an array and you want to delete the five from the last and that's how you have to do so if you want to have only five elements into 10 array so what you can do you will pass the index five and it will run the for loop and it will delete all the element from the last side till we have the five array left and that's what this remove function is going to do to help us to remove the array from the back into our array. So that's what we have. And now we're going to call this function. So we're going to create another function and this will call test. It's going to be external. And here we have to do on the base of certain things. Okay. So we're going to take an array. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the array which we are updating into a function. Okay. Remember earlier we have no data into an array, but here we are updating that. We'll say that remove index two. So that's how it will work. So you have passed this remove functions. So it will remove. This is the array we have defined one, two, three, four, five, but we are passing the index two. So can you guess that what array it will remove from that? So here, let me do this. So this is what we're going to get it because we are removing number three, zero, one, two, three, zero is one, two is one, sorry, zero, one is zero, two is one and three because we are removing the three element. That's how it will look. Let's do the check. So if a third zero index is one, yes, that's the true. Then we have to do the second index. If the second element is true, yes, it is true. Here we have to do the third check. If the second, sorry, first is true, second is four, yes, because after deleting that, we got that. Now the last one is five. So it's true statement. If this statement gets true, we have to simply call this assert so if the array dot length is four if that's the true condition then we have to remove one more element so we're going to check this one and we're going to say remove zero so we want to remove the first array first array and then we have to call this so it will call assert dot length is equal to zero it will be our true statement so hope this entire things make sense so this is the entire shifting works so this is the entire shifting box and let's test this out the contract we have written here we have the entire arrays which we have defined and the two functions so let's quickly deploy that so here you can see this is the only functions only contract i have I, if i click on this deploy here i got the contract back and in thus we have these three functions so right now we have this test and we have this array 
So here you can see right now we don't have anything into an array. So if you pass zero, you will get an empty array. You will get nothing into this because we don't have anything. Now what I'm going to do is instead of calling this function get test or you can call it from here. So if you have anything into an array because that's what we are dealing here. So if I can pass one, I can call it remove function. Nothing will happen because nothing is there. Nothing is there because this function is totally dependent on this test. So right now you can see if I call this get if I call this test, so what will happen? The first, it will update this array because this is the array we have taken and here we are updating that. So it will update that, then it will remove the first, this element. It will remove this element and it will get this and then we are doing this check. That at the end, finally, we are checking for the length and then we are checking the, we are again updating the array and making it one. So at this point, we have only one array and here we are calling this remove function and passing this zero means we want to remove this array as well and we'll get this function and here we are confirming that that the entire array is length is zero that's pretty simple function now let's test this out so what i can do is i can click on this confirm and here the transaction went success and the transaction went successful and you can see we got nothing if i open the logs open the logs this is the transaction we have done and here you can see we have done all the logic so this is the transaction has the function we have called and you can see right now we don't have anything this is absolutely empty so what happened first when you call this test function what it does it update the array five elements into our array then remove the third all the elements are there on their position based on the index then check the length then remove the last one so hope this makes sense that how you can remove by shifting so this is a pretty important thing which you have to know because when you're going to create a nested mapping and in that you're going to map an array. So these things becomes very important. So that's the only thing I want to cover about the shifting and removing array by shifting. Let's move to the next video and that we're going to have one more topic on array. Then we'll move to the other topics.